here's what we're doing. What I'm photographing right now is a, a small DC electric motor with a permanent magnet rotor. And this particular motor happens to be running off of broad, I'm calling them broad spectrum radio waves that are being received by those two coils, which is really one coil because they're in series, and some germanium diodes that are connected to um, an antenna and a ground and a commutator. I'm going to pan over to the scope and you can see the trace of the voice. This is a radio signal. This is a, a, a broadcast by a Mexican uh, music station and I'm in Southern California. I'm in San Diego County. So let's take a closer look at our motor. I'm going to zoom out here and then I'm going to relocate the camera so we can take a closer look at the commutator and the, and the crystal radio diodes. We're going to zoom in on the commutator. If you take a very close look, can't really see it very well, so I'm going to take the camera closer. You'll look very carefully. If you look very carefully, you're going to see a commutator. That's a that's just a aluminum knob that's been remachined, and it has an epoxy material, which is the dark material of the insulator. And you'll see two wires, one coming from the right side and a diode symbol, and one coming from the left side, and you'll see a diode symbol. Those two are contacting the top of that uh, commutator piece. And if you look, it will go ahead and look down onto the system, and you can see the, the rotor rotating. You can see two coils. These two coils are in series. I'll get a, a clearer view of this in a second. Again, we're going to peek at the trace on the scope. The, the blanked out part you see is just some uh, resonance between the sample rate of the of this camera and the retrace of the analog scope. I can change the the sample rate on the scope and we get a slightly different trace and I changed it and now you can see that even a little bit better. Now when I said this is a DC motor, what I meant is it's an average DC signal which is created around ground, the building ground, which is probably going to be very nearly the ground of the transmitting station. And that is right in the, on the center line of the, uh, of the screen on the scope. You saw the two diodes, one pointing in and one pointing out. And that will create a, a voltage relative to ground above and below, as we're seeing on the trace. So this is truly a DC motor running on the average 
of the AC radio transmission signal. So the average DC voltage is actually the center of that signal above and below ground, which is a line cutting through the middle. And I'll show you where that is. You watch. You'll see the trace going across the middle of the scope. That is ground. Now we'll bring the actual radio signal back on. Let's uh, change the position of the camera and go take a look at some of the mechanical uh, characteristics and aspects of the motor itself. Ooh. Sorry about that. We saw the commutator. You can see two coils. One on the right and one on the left, and they're essentially one coil uh, because they are in series. And that is a permanent magnet rotor made of neodymium iron boron magnets, north-south, stacked up to make one great big massive rotor. Uh, you look at the curvature of the magnets, those were surplus magnets. And uh, so you have half of those are the, the flip orientation of the other half, so that I ended up with some nice rotors. I was able to find uh, some magnets that had north outside and some that had south outside, so that I have a real nice uh, rotor that can come very, very close to my coils. Now we're going to move this over to a very interesting feature. That is a balancing magnet. This is a permanent magnet, one of the neodymiums, at a location, you can see the marks on, on the board. This offsets the effect of the Earth's magnetic field. Neodymium magnets are unusually uh, strong as magnets go, but they're not nearly as strong as they've made them. Uh, it's now old technology. Anyway, I'm going to show you a very interesting characteristic. I'm going to turn off the signal, and then I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove the balancing magnet. You'll see the rotor, permanent magnet rotor on the radio motor, uh, flip just like the needle of a compass. I have removed the signal. You can see that the rotor is fairly neutral in its rotation. doesn't have a tendency to orient itself at all. Watch what happens when I remove the balancing magnet. And it is a considerable restoring force. It's rather surprising. You can actually feel the effects. Feel the strength of the Earth's magnetic field. I have accidentally and inadvertently erased many credit cards with these things. I'm going to put this back. And I'm going to reconnect the signal. And away the motor goes again. <coughs> Let's take a look at what our antenna actually is. There's a wire going down the leg. See it? Right here. What that actually is, is a wire that's connected to
this metal roll up door. There's our system right in there. See it rotating. clip onto the metal door. The ground is right here. And I just dropped it. connected to a panel on the wall right there to the, the building ground and there's the wire right there and of course if I disconnect the ground, it'll stop just like disconnecting the signal. Now, this will run even if you interchange these because it's perfectly symmetrical. I'll show you in a second how the wiring is on this. And you can see the rotor running again, same as before. Basically, let's run around the other side here. Those two diodes, the anode of one and the cathode of the other, are connected and soldered together along with one end of the series coil. So that is one side of the motor, electrically. The other side of the motor, we saw the commutator.
you have the diodes, one end of the diodes, which is changing polarity, connected to one end of the coil, and you have the ground connected to both of the diodes all the time and the other end of the coil. And that's what makes it run, and that is the trace that you get right there. It's kind of uncanny. Now, I'm going to uh, stop this. <laughs>